Hello and welcome back to Your Faith Adventures with King David. Today we're going to have another wonderful story about Rudiger, as today he deals with bullies. We all have bullies in our lives, and today we're going to learn how the Bible wants us to deal with bullies. And we're going to hear the wonderful story about King David and how he dealt with bullies, and how you should deal with bullies as well. We're also going to have a great craft time today. If you didn't get a craft bag yet, please contact the church office and we'll make sure to get one to you. So, watch along with me as we see how Rudiger learns about the Bible today. Rudiger, Rudiger, there's a bully and he threatened to put gum in my hair and pull my pigtails. Oh, no! Oh, hey guys! What's wrong? Rudiger, what's the matter with Rue? Rue, why are you crying? There's a bully, and he's being mean to my sister, and I don't know what to do. My bullies. parents are going to be so mad. Oh, bullies can be so hard to deal with. I'm so sorry that you're dealing with this, Rudiger and Rue. Um, you know what? There's actually a story in the Bible that teaches us about how someone dealt with a bully. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually, we were just talking about it just when we were coming up. There was actually, there's this really big guy. His name was Goliath. How big was Goliath? He was super huge. He was a giant. Yes. He was nine feet tall. Mm -hmm. That would be... How tall would that be? I'd be like both of us put together. Oh my goodness, so if Emma stood on my shoulders, that's how tall that's, it would be. Yep. Could you guys do that for me so I could see? No, no, no we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't have the right shoes on for that, yeah, Rudiger. Yeah, I'm that sorry. <laughs> not today. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. But anyway, so you're telling us about Goliath. What yeah. else about him? And he came and he wanted to fight the Israelites. Why did they want to fight? Well, he didn't like them. He didn't like what they said. Maybe he didn't like what they had to eat. I don't know, but he didn't like them. And so he came with a big old army behind him and his big clunky armor, and he said, I want to fight you guys. Oh, he was threatening all of Israel, and he wanted to beat them all up. That's scary. <gasps> It it's is scary. scary. And he said that Israel needed to send how many soldiers? One. He said if one Israel soldier could beat him, then they would all go away. Yep. Just one? Just, Just one. one. Hmm. But you know what? Just like you said you would be scared of that, all the Israelites were scared too. And so they didn't want to fight him. They didn't want to be the one. But there was one boy who came up about the same age as you. His name was David. And he came up and he said, you know what? I'm a shepherd. But when I'm tending my flock, I have to sometimes fight off big, scary creatures. What kind of creatures? Any like, beavers? No beavers. There weren't any <laughs> beavers there. No beavers. David never had to deal with beavers that we know of. They got weird tails. They, they do. do. They have fun tails, fun yeah. tails. But what did what did David have to fight when he was protecting the sheep? He had to fight lions, <gasps> lions and oh. bears and bears. <gasps> yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, so he knew that he could fight this bully mm -hmm. because he had had experience with other animals, and he thought, well, if I could fight them, I bet God would help me also fight Goliath. Mm -hmm. He was right, too, wasn't he? What happened? So he took his little slingshot that he used out in the fields, and he put a rock in there, and he threw the big rock at Goliath, and he beat him all by himself. Even though he was so much smaller than big, giant Goliath, and he could have easily been scared, and Goliath could have beaten anyone. He was such a big bully, but David, had God on his side. David had God on his side. Rudiger, do you remember last week when Miss Veronica visited with us and she told us about David being picked for God's team? Yeah. And yes. Well, David was picked for God's team and he was able to defeat the big bully because God was on his side. 
Isn't that cool? Do you think that God is maybe on your side? Maybe. I think so. I think he is. I think God is on your side because you are a baptized child of God. So he'll help me? I yep. think he will. Now, I would advise you not to try to beat up the bully. Mm -hmm. I think there might be a better way of dealing with him. How, what do you think you could do? Do you think God has a bat I can use? I don't mm, think no. God has a bat for you to use. And I don't know that God would be on your side with beating someone up with a no. bat. What do you think would be a good and godly way to deal with a bully? Maybe I could tell him, leave my sister alone, you? Oh, that would be perfect. That's a great idea. Hey, Rudiger, I know you've got this. You can protect your sister and you can face this bully. Good luck, guys. Bye, Rue. Bye. Thanks. thanks. Hey, loser Rue. You want a piece of gum? <laughs> hey, you. You leave my sister alone or there's going to be trouble. <sighs> Rudiger. You saved me! Welcome to craft time! <laughs> Hi boys and girls! Tonight you heard the story, or today you heard the story of David and Goliath, and so we are going to be painting rocks to remember that David found five simple stones in the creek, and with that the Lord helped him defeat Goliath. So what you're going to need out of your craft kit is the five rocks, and in there is also a paint pen. Aubrey, hold up one of those paint pens. You'll find your paint pen, and if you did VBS with us, you'll have more colors um, that you can use. First, you'll want to wash your rocks so they're not dirty, and then you can put your design on. And you can put anything from a cross to faith, hope, love, peace, joy. Paint all of your five rocks. Your mom and dad can give you the memory verse for today, and it's on this blue card. It has a little um, slingshot on it, because that's what David used to defeat Goliath. So it's 1 Samuel 17, verse 45. And it says, David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. And you'll add that to your ring for your second Bible verse. So thank you for joining us and have fun. See you next time. What a great time we had today as we got to hear about how we all deal with bullies in life and how God wants us to stand up for ourselves, but not just stand up for ourselves, but use God in our lives to stand up for ourselves. We also had a great craft time, and we look forward to next week as we hear how we should deal with jealousy in the future. So, once again, thank you so much for joining us here at Living Word Lutheran Church Sunday School.